We're going to put this down gently for a minute, and we're going to go on to the next part. Next, we have our neck strap. When we put our neck strap on, we'll simply put it over our heads, nice and easy. And while the sax is off of your neck strap, I want you to hold the bottom of the neck strap. This is where the clip is. Let's see if you can see it this way. Okay. I'm going to hold this clip, and there's a clip right here, which makes the sax neck strap go up and down, up and down. That's how we're going to adjust the height of the saxophone while we're playing. We're going to take the body of the saxophone out. And before we do this, you'll see there's a little black piece in the top of it. This is to protect the little rod that's on the side of our saxophone. So it's always important that when we put our saxophone away, we put this back in. For right now, because we're about to play, we're going to take this out. I'm going to put it in the case right where the body goes so I remember where that is. And you're going to see there's a hook on the side of the saxophone right here. We're going to hook the clip of our neck strap into that hook. Now, if you're having trouble finding the hook, you'll have a black little hook. This is for your thumb. And you'll have a black little button up here. You go straight down from the black button. You'll find a circular little hook. And that's what we're going to hook into. So I now have the saxophone body ready to play. I'm going to take the neck of my saxophone. I'm going to gently twist and push into the body of my saxophone. So if this is tricky, make sure that this little screw, like Frankenstein here, screw in the neck is nice and loose. And we're going to have the neck of our saxophone is going to line up with the black button. And I'll show you that now. So we have our black button. You go straight up. And you have the mouthpiece. A lot of times you'll see people like this or like this because they'll try to line it up with the bell. We don't want that. We want to line it up with this black button. Once you've lined that up, we're going to take the screw in the neck and remember righty tighty. Let's put that back here for now. We're going to take the screw in our neck, make sure it's nice and tight so our neck doesn't go anywhere, and we're good to go. Now, before we make a sound again, we want to check our posture, make sure our back isn't near the back of the chair, two feet flat on the floor, and I'm going to have the saxophone resting between my legs. So, as you can see, if I bring the saxophone to my face right now, it's hitting my chin. And sadly, my chin does not play the saxophone. So, I need to use this, this little piece on our neck strap to raise it. So I'm going to hold the clip, and I'm going to gently raise it up. Now, if I raise it too high, and I go to play, now it's hitting my nose. Sadly, my nose does not play the saxophone either. So I'm going to gently push down on the clip a little bit. And I want the saxophone to just fall right into my mouth. It should be nice and comfortable. So this is exactly where I want the sax. So for right now, I'm going to simply take one hand and just hold it by the neck. We're going to let the neck strap do the rest of the work. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. Top teeth on the mouthpiece. Bottom lip over our teeth, just like a little cushion. Close our corners. That's the sound we want to get. Now, if you're not getting a sound, but you had a sound before, a lot of times it's simply where your neck strap is. If my neck strap is just a little bit too high, it's not going to happen. Same thing if it's too low. The optimal place we want it is so that the, the mouthpiece rests, oh, even this is a little too low, rests right in our mouth, just like this. I should be able to have a conversation with you while the mouthpiece is on my mouth. Okay? So try that a couple times. You can pause it. See if you can make that sound. And again, I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm simply holding one hand here. If you'd like to hold the from the bottom too, you can. If not, you can have this hand free for a minute. making a sound on our saxophone. It's pretty epic. If you can do that and you haven't even had a lesson yet, whew, it's time for you to move to Plainville.